Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel, you're watching Uncle Roundy Cracks Pack, not to be confused with my Disney Afternoon docu-series, Uncle Roundy Talks About Quack Pack. Today, we've got a Commander Legends Quack Pack, and <laughs> Commander Legends, I just can't avoid it, it's been too good to us, and I want to say that I have low expectations, but watch something crazy happen again when I open this, let's just see. Let's just see. I've, the Commander Legends Thrill Ride is just too great to ignore at this point. Let's see if it continues to be good to us here today. We're starting off with the Armory of Arois. We're just getting right into it. We're starting with the with the artifacts that we'll never use. I already know. I did some card sorting recently, and I'm, I know for a fact this is bulk, and I already have more than a play set of it. So that one goes straight to the trash. And so does this, basically, the Rip Scale Predator. Dinosaurs with Menace seem cool and intimidating, but there's a reason it's a common. We got strategic planning here. The planning, the strategic planning is happening. Jace is hunched over. He's talking to somebody there. Gideon? I don't know. Uh, Planeswalker talk. Spark Harvest, uh, an eternally useful spell. Spark Tongue Dragon, where they're, they're really loading us for bear on the useless dragons today. I see. Maybe we'll get a really good dragon, though. Who knows? Supernatural Stamina. That's right, ladies. I'm taken. No Supernatural Stamina for y'all from me. We got the Fire Diamond. Being palming the Fire Diamond there. Nice little, nice little palming action there. Tap. Add red. Squad Captain. I always liked this card. I like the, I like the look on the Squad Captain's face. She's a, she, and she enters with a plus one plus one counter for. For each other creature you control. There we go. Yeah. yeah. She's a she could be a big she could make a big late game splash. Wild Heart Invoker. Yeah, you would just about have to make a late game splash with this thing, because it costs eight mana to give it five five and trample. Until end of turn. Elvish Doomsayer. This is a this is a fun little card for your for your Golgari elves if you're if you're working around discard. Got the Azure Fleet Admiral. Makes you the monarch and can't be blocked by creatures the monarch controls. Interesting, interesting. Trusty pack beast, the trusty pack beast, carrying the pack, carrying on his back some supreme will. That's quite the close up of old Mr. Nickel Bolas's scepter we've got going there. Choose one, counter target spell, unless his controller pays three mana. Look at the top four cards of your library, put one of them into your hand. And the rest on the bottom of your library in order. Didn't the last Commander Legends pack have a Supreme Will in it? I'm not going back to check. I'm not going to go back and check that. Grafted War Gear. Equipped creature gets plus three, plus two. And when Grafted War Gear becomes unattached from a permanent, sacrifice that permanent. And it equips for zero. Yeah, well, <laughs> uh, things seem cool when they're free, but then you see, then you see that things have gone very badly wrong. We've got Patron of the Valiant here. Uh, I believe that was also in the last pack. I'm kind of recognizing things. We have a few, we have a few repeats here, but it looks like our rare today is gonna be it's gonna be Dongglade Regent, a seven casting elk, green green plus five for an eight eight elk. That's a much bigger elk than Oko was ever able to put out. When Dongglade Dongglade Regent enters the battlefield, you become the monarch. As long as you're the monarch, permanents you control have hexproof. <laughs> okay, that's not too shabby. All right, I could I could work with that. That's pretty awesome. Let's move to our commander slots here. We've got Miara, Thorn of the Glade, telling you hush up. Hey, hey, shut up, shut up. I'm hunting. Whenever Miara, Thorn of the Glade, or another elf you control dies, you may pay one mana, one generic mana, and one life. And if you do, draw a card. Also got here, Jared Carthalion, true air, more like true muscles, Blah. one white, one green, one red, a 3-3 three, three human warrior. When he enters the battlefield, target opponent becomes the monarch, and you can't become the monarch this turn. If damage would be dealt to Jared Carthalion, Car Carthalion, Carthalion, whatever, while you're the monarch, prevent that damage and put that many plus one, plus one counters on it. Well, he's fun. I know he's not super valuable, but it's always nice to get at least one rare in the commander slot. And for our foil, we're looking at another rare. Zot's Will, a foil rare. Not quite uh, not quite Vampire's Tutor, but that's three rares in one pack. That is not too bad a performance, even if uh, 
even if none of them really shine in the value department. I don't know the value of some of these. I'm pretty sure Jared's pretty cheap. Uh, Zot's Will, though. Black plus four, an instant. Choose one. If you control a commander as you cast a spell, you may choose both. Each opponent sacrifices a creature they control with the greatest power and exile all cards from all opponents' graveyards that create X-01 Black Thrill creature tokens where X is the greatest power among creatures exiled this way. Yeah, I think you're going to be wanting to control a commander for that. And it looks like we still have a card behind this, which means it's going to be the Prismatic Piper showing up, as always, to, uh, to uh, give you some colors for your Commander Legends draft experience. So we got a treasure token behind it. Which is apropos, because it looks like we secured ourselves quite a few treasures today. I'm actually a little sad about the uh, Zot's Will. I'm going to show that one off real quick and talk about it. Because uh, this is a good time as any, if you're not familiar, to talk about the quality of Commander Legends foils. Which, as you may or may not know, is legendarily low. Because, look, when you when you get a foil out of a... Out of a Commander Legends pack. Commander Legends in particular. Foil quality has not been the best lately. But when you get a foil out of a Commander Legends pack, you look at it and... Well, this is not actually as bad as it could be. Some some cards are even worse than this. But you can see it kind of bends. It kind of has this arc to it. And uh, it is often derisively called Pringling. So when you get a foil rare, that's actually not as big a cause for celebration as you think. I could probably show you a Zot's Will, a non-foil one that looks a lot straighter than this. And I would bet you anything that this foil rare is not as valuable as if we had gotten a regular Zot's Will. Which is a little sad. Kind of sucks. Uh, but like when we pulled the foil Vampiric Tutor, like some cards... If a card is just enough of a banger, uh, it can uh, it can be valuable enough to withstand uh, the foil price drop. But foils are so dime a dozen nowadays, and foils are so they're so everywhere. You've got collector boosters, collector booster boxes. You got guaranteed foils in in certain premium packs. Foils are just everywhere. They become they are not they are no longer a special thing. They are they are a dime a dozen, and uh, although it is still although it's still cool to pull like a rare, it's not quite the uh, mega event it used to be. So uh, this may seem exciting on the face of it, but this one is not really uh, super great. But I think what is super great is uh, really taking stock when you get a pack like this. Three rares, it is possible. It would even be possible to get four rares out of a Commander Legends pack if both your commanders were rare in that slot. That could have happened. We could have gotten as many as four rares out of this pack, which is... Uh, I don't know if it has a breakdown of that kind of occurrence on here. doesn't seem to. It only tells you that you get Foil Mythics or Showcase... Foil Mythics Showcase or Borderless card in less than 1% of boosters. Which is talking about like your your etched foil commanders and your uh, and your uh, borderless planeswalkers, of which there are a couple in this set. But yeah, we pulled three rares today, which is uh, as far as just raw numbers, pretty good. Uh, I don't know what it translates to money wise, uh, but I'm not particularly inclined to care. That was I'm going to call that a good pack. That was very satisfying. It was very satisfying regardless of true value. I'll see you guys next time with more uh, magic crack cracking crack cracking pack packing goodness.